What's up, everybody? <laughs> you strike me as a guy that enjoys the crowd, enjoys the fun. Brief workout today. Any reason you, you kind of kept it light today? Oh, just short, you know, making weight today, have the weigh-ins tomorrow, so just keeping it light, fun, and then you had the music going, so that was cool. <laughs> Everybody's pumped up. Talk about the feeling now versus your debut. Is it the same? Is it different? How does it compare? You know what? Uh, it's an awesome feeling. It's actually way better than what the UFC debut was. And uh, feeling, going to the UFC debut, you have you have to wonder, like, what's going on? What's the workout going to be like? And it's such an honor to be able to be in the workout, the open workout. So I'm just blessed to be here, and, and that sure was fun. I know you've wanted this, and you've wanted this attention, and you've wanted it all, but it's, it's coming so fast. Is there any part of you that's saying, man, this is too much to do? No way, no. <laughs> There's no part of me that says that. I want more. So so if I get to fight next month and, and I'm safe and protected and injury free, I'm ready to fight next month. Try to start your to spend time in Montreal. Uh, tell us about that experience. Yes, sir. So it was an awesome experience. I went up there for a week, got to train with GSP, Roy McDonald, a bunch of awesome, talented guys up there at TriStar. So I only stayed for one week because I have schoolwork at Texas A&M University, so I had to come back, take some tests, and then after this fight, it looks like I'll be going back to TriStar again. And I actually have Mr. Zahabi coming down. He's going to be in my corner for the fight, so along with my other coaches. Can you say going down there again on a permanent basis, or I'll be going. So I'll be going back down to TriStar after my fight here this Thursday, just to train there for a little bit, like a week or so, come back, another week or so. So going back and forth, and you know, I still have school down here, so. I text a and so I have to stay down here for just like take my test, take the, the quizzes, the schoolwork, me and my professor, then be able to travel some too. You've been considering taking a break from school. Are you going to or are you going to stick with it? So I'm, will, uh, I'm, I'm really trying to find out exactly uh, how everything keeps going, what, taking one fight at a time, and, and then very possibly in the future, I might take a break from school, train full time. So after your win, you used to give you a spectacular win. No, so actually, I, I would like to take one fight at a time. So, so I'm just, it, it's an honor to be back this soon. It's only been two months about since October 3rd in my UFC debut. So me getting to fight so soon, that's a huge opportunity. Taking one fight at a time, not rushing anything. So obviously, I don't want to fight. I'm not going to go out there, not wanting to, sure, I would love to, but, but not going out there to fight the top 10 guys right now or anybody up there, the, the number one guy, the champion, because because I still have a lot to learn. So I'm taking one fight at a time and, and going slowly. Oh, th thank you. So I would say uh, toughest challenge is getting used to all the media. And it's definitely, I'm having fun doing it. So I wouldn't really consider that tough. I'm still learning everything about it. and, and what makes it fun is that the UFC is so organized. When they have something planned, when you have an interview planned, or or what's going on at this time, or where it's at, so that just makes it all the better and more fun. You just get pretty much in stride when he accuse you of steroid use. Is that something that you've had to deal with before? Oh, that, that's funny. And I, I just want to tell my opponent thank you for saying that because that's a huge compliment to me. If he if he thinks so, then that's very nice that he says that. And I've actually been tested uh, four times already, drug tested. So three times by USADA, one time by the Texas uh, Commission or the, the Boxing Commission for the UFC. And actually USADA came to my house at 6 o'clock in the morning and, and took blood from me and urine. So along with being tested throughout my high school and, and sports too all the time. So that's that's a big compliment and Did you just want to say thanks. Before, like during your karate career and things like that? Sure, pe people might have mentioned it, but anyone knows that if, if someone were to take those, especially young, that's not good for kids to take. And anybody young, I'm only 19 for one thing, plus it all, you know, it, it stunts your growth place, stunts your, stunts, your, stunts your growth, so that way you can't grow any taller, you can't physically, it, it's just horrible for kids, so. Well, considering the attention you've garnered, uh, it seems like you've got a bit of a target on your back now. It's like you're going to have everyone in your division wants to, you know? How do you feel about that, about being pressed into a point where like everyone just wants to shot it? Oh, that's that's very uh, very awesome, actually. So, I guess the more people wanting to fight me, that's 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 very nice. It's great for me because I want to be able to have as many fights as I possibly can, and be able to fight as soon as possible, and and obviously be, be well prepared for my fights. And and uh, I, I'm just very thankful that anybody wants to mention me or, or be able to fight me. I've only had one fight in the UFC, so that's that's also a compliment. <laughs> it doesn't get to you at all that these guys just want to fight you. I mean, like, it doesn't you don't take it personally at all that you're the guy that. 
all of a sudden they're targeting? <laughs> no, no way. So we're, <laughs> I'm in the sport, the UFC. So this is, this is a sport about fighting, MMA fighting. So if someone wants to fight me or someone wants to fight someone else, it's an MMA sport. It's, you're, you're there to fight each other. So I, I get it. <laughs> So if you were to have a loss, uh, would you consider backing away from fighting some? Or, uh, I mean, it doesn't seem like you have a long-term game plan. You say it doesn't consider? No, it doesn't seem as though you have a long-term game plan. So I'm just wondering what, what your ultimate goals are. Well, like you said, if, if something something were to happen, as it as it would be with anybody, for instance, Ronda Rousey has fought Holly Holm, and nobody expected that would happen to happen. So I'm sure that Ronda Rousey is going to come back and be be stronger, stronger than she was before, training harder. So that's how it works. If, if something happens, and then not just me, but any fighter, I'm sure, would go out there and train the hardest they have, harder to try to make their technique better every single thing, any mistake they made better. So you said it's not a long-term thing, but, but I am looking at it as a long-term thing. I'm, I'm trying to have as, not, only, not only as many fights as I can right now, because you don't know when the end of your career could be, but, but also be able to hopefully be the UFC champion one day and, and like to be the youngest. So, so you've got a reputation for probably being the most enthusiastic man in the UFC. Right? What a noise, Sage so <laughs> Thank you. That, that's nice. Thanks. I like that. Uh, what annoys me? I don't know. I can't name something. <laughs> I'm sure there's something, but I can't name something. So thank you. When's the last time you were mad? When I'm mad? Yeah, when's the last time you were mad? I can't, I can't think of a time. I'm sure there is obviously a time for that, but, but uh, no. <laughs> So how many times have you had a chance to watch you use the debut? And is there anything that you feel like, you know, something that you learned specifically or anything you feel like you've done better? Well, you know how my UFC debut went down at UFC 192. I think it went it went just perfectly as planned, how it should have gone. And I don't think it really could have gone uh, any better than what, what it went. So there's always something to correct in your game plan. Even if it's, even if it's let's say, you're moving your left big toes, not moving as fast as your whole foot or something. There's, there's always little things to correct, so I'm always looking to correct those and make myself better. And hopefully I can show that this Thursday, too. What was it particularly about the sport of MMA that drew you to it? Well, ever since I was the age of nine years old, that's when I first started saying that I wanted to, I wanted to fight in the UFC and, and be a UFC fighter. So that was actually the time when, on the front cover of the sport, Karate Magazine, that that I made as the youngest person, that's when I said that. And it, it's just watching GSP mostly growing up and all the other awesome fighters, it's like kind of who, who doesn't want to be able to fight like these guys? They're, they're so incredible, they're so talented. You look at them, they're, they're ripped up, athletic, and, and they're just machines. So it's, it's just not only the guys, but the whole sport itself. It just keeps growing and growing and getting better. Is there a particular fight at GSP that is your favorite? You know, the last fight with, with GSP versus Johnny Hendricks, that was a great fight. And um, they're, they're both such incredible guys. And GSP has been in the sport for so long. So it's just so impressive how the fight went down. Both awesome guys. And, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing if GSP possibly might come back in the future. And it sure would be awesome to see him fight again.